They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that could make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being just meant to be cause I knew it. Good old Georgia Look at Delisa in the cut. Ow. You got Shavay in the cut. Shavay sweet, y'all. Look at them eyebrows, though. <laughs> Georgia, we came. We saw. We showed our love. Mm. Although this wasn't the trip that we wanted to make, we happy that we were able to make it. Over here, Renaissance. Yep, it's the Renaissance um, Concourse Atlanta Airport Hotel. Right. Yeah, that's it. Arrived. Oh, no. That's crazy. Babe, no, we gotta get on the flight. You're not even scared of. Look, the air, the fucking airplane is right by us. And this is our room. Oh, this a patio. plane just landed so we are going home I don't know if I've been I don't even know although in my last video I did tell y'all we were coming to Georgia we literally was coming oh look at that plane we were coming to Georgia for my cousin but we call him Uncle Eo he is our this is my mom's first cousin and our second cousin, but we've always called him uncle. My grandma, she don't like it. <laughs> Let me take it out. But anyways, so yeah, we've always called him Uncle Eo. And ah, uh, you know, like it's crazy. How like when you literally just talk to somebody and then like they gone. 
you know what I mean? And it's just like dealing with this with my sister and my mom and I just feel like oh my god, are they so close going off? Then seeing if I'm like this side. Like I was saying, like I've just been like dealing with death like so much in my family and friends since I was like in middle school is like when I probably can actually remember like losing a person that I knew in school and then from there it was just like family and friends and family and friends and family and friends and it's just like you don't you don't get used to it right but it's just like when you literally literally just have like talked to this person and It's crazy. Like he was just at my grandma's house. We were just talking. He was just telling me like everything he had got going on. Telling me about his son. Telling me, um, like I already knew he had kids, but it's just. Then let me tell y'all something. So um, him and his brother, and I can't remember one of his friends they were on a song that they made and like i'm from dublin so um they had a song it was called i'm from the dub and when i tell you that song hit for the summers and i've been looking like looking for that cd because i have a copy of it and i got it when i was like they made the song when i was in middle school okay and that song was the junk okay and it's just like my uncle EO, bro, like, just the, he just the funniest person, like, the funniest person, loving person, like, just seeing everybody at his funeral today, like, I knew he, like, how, I knew how much, like, he impacted the world, right, and how much people loved him, but just seeing that school gymnasium filled and just everybody there like i'm just happy i was able to make it here because i didn't think i was going to be able to make it so shout out to my sister like my sister bro she she did her big one for me okay and i don't think they really understand i don't even understand like i understand like just Every time I see him when I come back home, and he just asking. Like, he literally had just told me. When I'm coming back down here, you come, you, you come often to help your grandma, but this is the dad of y'all coming from funerals. So. So for that to be like one of the last things that we talked about, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's messed up. And like, I I love living in Detroit, bro. I love living in Detroit, but moments like this, like, we already, it's already hard enough for everybody to like stay in touch because we all got lives, right? But that's not an excuse, right? It's not an excuse. But just being like so far away from all of my family then, sitting here and like meeting people that oh yeah they remember me when I was like little and I don't remember them like it's messed up it's real messed up but I'm very very appreciative and I was able to say goodbye to him I was able to kiss him I was just able and I'm just like waiting like just seeing him like anytime you come to Georgia bro like you get the bet like he gives the best bear hugs like he's already super super tall right and just a big old teddy bear so just being able to like 
fall into his arms when you see him and just it's like it's, it's like you don't miss a beat you know what i'm saying and so just being there you can definitely i throw his love in the room you know what i'm saying but it's just like kissing him and he was cold like God don't make no mistakes and I'm learning like you can't question you can't question God or what he's doing because he know what he's doing man. this is real we're just living in it you know what I'm saying so just make the best of every day y'all like mm. just make the best of every day like oh Jesus but that's it that's all I'm out of here y'all Going back home, sweet home. Bro, can we talk about how Delta, like, do they big ones? Baby, okay. I, I felt real bougie, okay? My booty wasn't hurt or nothing, baby. I've been on Spear for too long. And my sister, you know, I, I do Delta one time when I went to Vegas. But baby, I don't remember being this nice. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something I can make.